Well, after an exciting trade deadline day, it did not take the Chicago Bears long at all to lock down Montez Sweat for the long term. And here to break it all down and the ripple effects of the deal is Lauren Cox of Locked On Bears at Cox Sports One on your favorite social media. Lauren, let's start off with the what feels like an obvious question here, but I know that there's layers to this whole deal. Why was it so important to get this extension done with Montez Sweat so soon after the trade? Yeah, there was a little bit of panic in Chicago when the trade gets done and then Montez Sweat shows up and says, yeah, we don't have a deal yet. No, I'm thinking about it. You know, I want to see how it is here. And everyone's like, oh, God, did the Bears <laughs> get a second round pick for a player who's about to be a free agent and he's going to walk and they'll just waste a second round pick for a half a year of Montez Sweat in a year that the Bears aren't going to make the playoffs anyway. Oh, no. Oh, no. But then general manager Ryan Poles has a press conference says, no, we're we're going to get a deal done. I'm confident we're getting this done. We're going to get squared away. And that's how you end up with all that, almost $75 million guaranteed uh, on a four-year deal. It is a hefty, hefty price tag. But, you know, young pass rushers, young edge rushers that are well-rounded, durable, don't really have a lot of red flags, like those are valuable and those don't yeah. grow on trees. So it takes a lot to get them, If especially if you're not the one who drafted them. You're going to have to pay a pretty penny to get them. And the Bears made sure, like, they secured that cornerstone type player for their defensive line do you feel just from your perspective that trading a second round pick and then getting the contract done that that is the right move for the Chicago Bears in Montez Sweat yeah it's tricky because it feels like a lot right like it, because mm -hmm. it's like well why would you trade a second round pick to pay a guy when you could just wait until free agency and pay a guy the same amount of money pay, pay somebody else but to me the second round pick is like the price of admission it, it's it's to get you and it's to get you into the club for a better player than yeah. what free agency is going to provide you. Like players, the quality of Montez Sweat don't tend to hit free agency, right? You don't get really good pass rushers that, oh, we'll just let them walk because we don't want them anymore. Like, no, if the Bears hadn't traded for him, someone else would have traded for him and gave him a big contract extension. So the Bears have all this salary cap space, but the trade is an extension of their free agent plan. And so they can get a guy. Mm -hmm. That's going to be better than anybody that can hit free agency, a guy that doesn't have the red flags that other free agents might have. So you pay the second round pick to get into a pool of players that's better than what free agency will bring. And then so that's twenty five million dollars a year less that you have to spend on outside free yeah. agents over the summer that might not be as good or might be a little bit risky. Like free agency never really works out for anybody. It's just about avoiding the big mistakes. And you go out and trade Montez Sweat as like a free agent piece that's just better than what you could get in free agency. That's excellent perspective. So now that they've gotten this deal done with Montez Sweat, dare I ask, what does this mean for Jalen Johnson, who there were some active negotiations going on, asked for a trade, didn't get traded. How does this all go down now with the with the star corner? Yeah, he said at a press conference last week that, you know, if the Bears are going to sign Montez Sweat to an extension before me, I'm going to be a little little upset by that because I've right, been right. here the whole time. I've been negotiating. I'm not the new kid on the block. You know, I've, I've, I'm a day one. I've been here. And this other guy <laughs> just shows up and you're just going to hand him money. Why won't you hand me that money? And I think the Bears are responding intentionally. Like, I think this is – they're making a point. They're saying, hey, we're yeah. going to give Montez Sweat this big contract extension. They gave their nose tackle Andrew Billings a, a small contract extension, but still a contract extension before Jalen Johnson. So to me, this is Ryan Pohl saying, hey, we've got money. We're open for business. We're willing to pay players. This is telling Jalen Johnson, mm. come to the negotiating table in maybe better faith this yeah. time because we will pay you. We are we will reward players. You just have to meet us somewhere because Ryan Pohl said like when Jalen Johnson requested a trade, they hadn't even given their final offers yet. Like they were still at the right. negotiating table going back and forth on, well, what do you want for this? What do you want for this? Well, I want to trade. And it was like, well, wait a minute. We haven't even showed you like what we'll pay you yet. And he's like, well, I want to trade. And so I think the Bears are saying, hey, we will pay you. You just have to meet us here and actually like negotiate this because we're willing to get these deals done. I love a good loud negotiation, a good public negotiation. That's the way the Chicago Bears are handling business right now. Speaking of handling business for the Chicago Bears, I know that right now there's there's you know the the season is what the season is, injuries to Justin Fields, things like that. But just looking ahead to the future of this team with the 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 talent that they are now amassing, uh, what's next for them? Like what what's the next thing they need to do to take their next step? <laughs> there's still a lot of work to be done, right? I mean, sure. it, it, this is a team that is biding its time for this season and really working ahead for, for the long-term future. So to take that next step, I mean, honestly, signing Jalen Johnson to a long-term contract extension is about securing the young talent that you do have and mm -hmm. making sure that that can stay around because you're really still in the need of talent acquisition mode. But they're still going to have 
close to a hundred million dollars in in salary cap space heading into free agency this year. So you can sign more guys to contract extensions. They got two early picks in the first round. Plus they traded away their second round pick for this year, but they've got third round picks. They could trade down and acquire picks. And it's like continuing to build young talent and then really developing the guys that they have. They, they made a lot of draft picks last year and those guys are coming along nicely, but it's about getting the right coaching staff in place for those guys, which yeah. might not be the one that's currently in place there. So it's, it's definitely a rebuilding process, but it's something that trades for players like Montez sweat can add some gasoline to that fire and really take it off a little bit quicker than it was before. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to bring in a desirable coaching staff when you've got a desirable roster that that coaching staff would want to work with. Uh, just real quick, for, for Chicago Bears fans, how much Montez Sweat should they expect to see this weekend against the Saints? It's going to be full go. He passed his physical, everything's ready to go, and they're going to insert Montez Sweat in there as much as he can. It's a matter of like, okay, how much did he, is he able to pick up in terms of you know run fits and where, where he's supposed to be on certain plays and certainly like – blitzes and stunts and where you know what his assignments are going to be on plays that he's still learning there but it shouldn't be too complex to say hey it's third and ten go get the quarterback I think we'll see him enough in the in the key situations where they need him and they'll be able to rotate other guys in on those more complex calls that maybe he's not quite ready for you know five days after showing up yeah if there's anything we know about the New Orleans Saints so far this season lots of third and long opportunities for Montez <laughs> Sweat. uh Lauren I really appreciate you taking the time bud and of course if you want to keep up with everything going on with your Chicago Bears Montez Sweat post game after the Saints and Bears game all of it you can find it over every single Monday through Friday with Locked on Bears here part of Locked on Podcast Network your team every day Lauren thanks so much bud thank you